Let's talk about capacitors. First off, what is a capacitor? Two conductors separated by an insulator. That insulator is called a dielectric. A little experiment you can do to make your own capacitor is what I did here. They used to call capacitors condensers because they thought that electricity was something that could be condensed, kind of like water, but it's not. Um, so modern day condensers are called capacitors. So this, this is a simple one that I made. It's just a plastic cup with some electrical tape on top, tin foil on the outside and on the inside. This wire, all it is is stripped on the end of it, kind of like it is right here. And it goes down and touches the tin foil on the inside of the cup. And you can charge it up with static electricity. So I've got the wire here and I've got this PVC pipe. I'm just gonna take my shirt, get some static electricity on it and rub it against this wire. Because the wire is connected to the inside of the capacitor. And then we touch it. I don't know if you can see the spark, but it's there. So yeah, this capacitor is just not very strong, but it's a fun little experiment you can do at home. So I'm gonna just throw this away. But now this little thing, I went on eBay and I found some of these things. I'll put a link in the description. It is a 15 kilovolt 0 0.00047 microfarad or 0.47 nanofarad capacitor. Teeny little thing, but a very dangerous device. Let's see why. Let's see what kind of charge it can hold. So this is my Jacobs, this is my seven and a half kilovolt Jacobs ladder, 30 milliamp with no capacitors attached. So this is a 15 kilovolt 0.47 nanofarad capacitor, like half the size of my finger. Let's just stick it on there. All we're doing is connecting it to the two wires. So that's at 0.47 nanofarads of capacitance. And there, here's another one. Let's put two on there and see what happens. All right. And put another one on there. There we go. loud. Now, I got a whole bunch of these things. In fact, I got 22 of them. <clears throat> and I'm going to use that to create a capacitor array or a capacitor bank for my Tesla coil, which you can see right over here. Um, that's been kind of sitting in some of my videos because I, I needed to research and figure out uh, what components I really needed. When I first started building my Tesla coil, I was like, oh, I need a, I need a 15 kilovolt capacitor. But then I got this guy. Uh, it's a 15 kilovolt capacitor, just like this, but it's 6,400 times more powerful because it has that much more capacitance. It stores that much more energy in it. It's a commercial pulse capacitor. Now, if I can fully charge this thing, if I touch the two terminals together, uh, if I connect them between a watermelon, the watermelon will be vaporized and turn into just dust. So I'm gonna figure out how to charge this thing and I'm gonna vaporize some fruit with it. But until then, all I need to create the capacitor bank for my Tesla coil is about maybe eight of these because I only need five nanofarads. I tried charging this capacitor with my neon sign transformers and they're just not, pow not powerful enough to charge this thing. So I have to do some research and figure that out. A couple fun facts about capacitance is how do you increase it? So you have the two conductors and a uh, insulator or dielectric in the middle. Uh, one way to increase capacitance is to unintuitively make the plates closer like that uh, because you I guess you reduce the potential energy of one plate and that causes the capacitance to increase. And another way is to increase the surface area of the conductors and finally is to change the dielectric. Air is actually a pretty good dielectric. Um, I think wax paper is a little bit better and there's there's a whole bunch of information you can find online about how to make capacitors and how to make them. Now the capacitors I got here, these are metallized polyester and it's not the highest quality possible capacitor that you can get, uh, but each one of these is only about two bucks um, and I found them on eBay and they're, they're great for what I'm doing which is 
playing mad scientist and building a Tesla coil. If you like this kind of stuff, subscribe to my channel and this Tesla coil is going to be done pretty soon. I'm going to be building some other pretty crazy things too. Thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments and have a great day. And I'm going to teach you how to create the, the red button on the side controller, uh, Google Hangout. avoid this type of attack. Here's the thing. Just be careful. <laughs>